Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Freshness Guaranteed brand. It's a Walmart brand of heat and eat meals. This one is the Chicken Alfredo. It's grilled chicken breast with penne pasta, shredded parmesan, and Alfredo sauce. And you can see it's it's a, it's a cold meal. It's not frozen. It's You buy them in like the deli section where you buy like the meats and stuff like that. That's where they sell these at. Um, of course, like I said, it was a Walmart brand. We bought it at Walmart for $5.50, which is not too bad. Um, like I said, there's the information for you. I'm going to flip this over. Let's see, 420 calories for the whole tray. And there's your other info. And to microwave it. Let's see, it's very tiny. Uh, remove the label and peel back corner of filmed event. Heat on high for three and a half minutes or until the internal temperature reaches whatever. Um, let rest for one minute before serving. And you can also do it in the conventional oven if you want to as well. Of course, we're not going to do that, but you can if you want. So it says remove the label. Here's the bad thing. This label is a sticker. I don't know if I can get the sticker off. We'll see. We'll see if it'll come unstuck. You have to be able to grab it first, though. Let's see how well this will work for you. Okay, that came off. Sorry. Sorry. Noise. Aha! I got that one off. I tried to do that with, with another one at one point in time, and it didn't work at all. So, yeah stick this together very sticky okay so anyway i'm gonna vent a corner what corner do i want to vent let's vent this one over here with nothing on it and i would recommend probably giving it a good shake to let it kind of spread out everywhere and then vent the corner get your microwave for three and a half minutes i'll be back okay so here it is out of the microwave i love the little crispy pieces of cheese that's my favorite parts um, but yeah it smells really good it doesn't smell really strong like it's not a really strong like seasoning or anything like that, but it does smell good. Make sure the pasta is good and mixed up. Um, this one got a little dry, but like I said, I like the little crunchy piece of cheese, so I'm, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to let this cool off for a minute. Not, not too awful long. Plenty of sauce in there. I like that. Not tons of chicken, but I do see a few pieces. Like there's a piece right there. There's a piece right there. There's a piece. You know, there is some chicken. There's a piece. But it's not um, like tons of chicken. So anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got sauce on everything, of course. Uh, pasta and the chicken and whatever the green stuff is. I don't know, parsley or... I don't know. Could be broccoli for all I know. Uh, but anyway, here we go. It looks like parsley. Um, it's a chicken, by the way, is so tender that I had a hard time like just stabbing it on my fork to pick it up because it would want to fall apart. The chicken's really, really good texture. Um, it's really tender. And the pasta seems really tender too. Yeah, the pasta's cooked really nicely. Um, so texture-wise, it's really nice. It's got um, a good tender piece of chicken. The pasta is good and well cooked. It's not hard. It's not mushy. It's it's just right. It's cooked perfect. Um, so texture wise, it's really really good. Flavor wise, I taste the chicken. Um, you get the sauce more than anything. I think my biggest complaint is you can really taste one particular spice in a. And I don't know what it is, and it's written so small I can't read it. Um, because it would take me forever. It's very tiny, and there's a lot of it. Um, there's a spice in there. It could be the parsley. I don't think so, but it could be. Um, it almost has a, almost tastes like a broccoli flavor, but it doesn't taste that good. I like broccoli. Um, this has a little bit of a different flavor. I don't mind the flavor of it. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't think it's bad. It's just that's all I can taste. And I really wish it had more of the. Alfredo sauce flavor, which is generally um, a good creamy, not cheesy, but it's a, a good creamy flavor. And and this one's just, I don't know, whatever season they're using in there is a really strong flavor. I like the pieces that are, the, like the brown, like I said, I like the brown kind of like crunchy pieces, the brown toasty pieces. Um, those are still my favorite. And it has a really good flavor because the flavor has that like a toasty, um, toasted kind of flavor.
just adds a lot of flavor to it. Um, overall for me, it's a good meal. It really is a um, very good quality meal. I think it's well worth um, trying out. 550, a little expensive for this, but it does seem like a fresh meal. It, although I'm pretty sure they come in the store frozen. I think it even says um, frozen then thawed or arrived to store frozen or something like that on the packaging. So they get them frozen and they put them out and they thaw out. So it's still technically a frozen dinner. Um, it's just not frozen when you get it. I, uh, I do like the quality. I do like the flavors. I do think it's a little expensive. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give this one, I don't know. You get quite a bit of pasta. You get a decent amount of chicken. You get a lot of sauce. One flavor of that sauce is really strong though. So it's throwing me off a little bit. Um, I'm debating three and a half, four. Going back and forth. I really do like the textures and, and stuff. I like most of the flavors. I'm going to go ahead and give it a four out of five. I really do like it. I, I would I would eat it again. Um, I don't think anything's wrong with it. So if you see these in your area and your Walmart, again, back in the deli section, the refrigerated, you do have to watch the dates because they do go, um, go the sell by date, you know, the max is probably about a month, but um, you probably won't even get that far, probably more like two weeks. So anyway, just watch the dates. Um, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.